Hello, it's Jason Payne for JDP Realty Group, a cold banker, Dan Hop Realtor. Well, today I'm at a Vintage Oaks, and the address I'm looking at behind me here is 520 Chalk Road. It, Perry Homes is building their 3740 plan on it, and I have a buyer that's very seriously interested in it. So I'm going to do a quick video tour for it. Let's go check it out. Now, I do like this road. It is a very quiet road because it is on a cul-de-sac. We're kind of just north of the Grove section, but we are in the Acre community. Uh, if you're looking on a map, you can see that berm back there. That is the water treatment area where they got gray water in. It does not smell. Don't worry about that. It's almost potable water. But uh, this does end in a cul-de-sac. I've done a video tour of some houses down there that are like $1.5 million homes. And strangely enough, I have done a lot tour of this uh, house at 520 Chalk Road about a year ago. And uh, it sure looks a lot different now that Perry's building their house on it. Anyways, they, people are working on it right now, so I'm not going to go walking all through it. <clears throat> but the uh, Perry Home Plan 3740 is the square footage. Um, it is a popular plan by theirs. You can see some people out walking the trail because there is a Vintage Oaks has a lot of trails going through this uh, community <clears throat> and this is one of them. So uh, yeah, there's, let me see if I can do, we got multiple construction sites going on. So this be kind of the view, a lot of lumber, kind of the view from the front of the house. But I want to show you the view of the back of the house. <clears throat> because the property does slope from the front of the property to the back, you are going to have uh, some steps going off the back porch. <clears throat> and you can look to see what some of the other neighbors have done so you get a good idea. You can fence in stuff. You can't have a privacy fence, but you can determine how much of the yard you want to maintain. So these guys, you can see some of their lawn is like the nice grass and some of it's just natural that they just kind of mow down. And they fenced in the part of the yard that they wanted to fence in. Because the property is going to go all the way down to this little water drainage area. So not a huge backyard at the back of this property. And you see you're going to have a, a patio space. Let's see if I can find where this patio is going to be at. All right. Well, they might be adding on to the patio because that's going to be a bedroom right there. Okay. You can see they're framing up the walls. It looks like there's a long but not very deep patio on it. But you could always extend that out if you wanted to have someone come out and build a nice little wooden deck out here, which that's what I would do. I would push, make a nice wooden deck, kind of trim these oak trees up a little bit more, but then you have your little secluded oasis back here, or you can just have your steps coming down and put your grass in, and this is your backyard. So it's not going to be the biggest, hugest backyard, but you do have some beautiful oak trees back here. One right off the back of the property. That's gorgeous. And this one here off to the side of the property. And kind of wrapping around because all this is going to be yours too. For a lot of shade and a lot of neat little privacy features, but not completely private. If, if you're a sociable person, you can kind of hang back out here and watch the people out walking their dogs on the trail. Another nice oak tree at the back. So yeah, this is a, a plenty good sized backyard for someone who's not wanting to maintain a whole uh, bunch of properties space. But uh, yeah, you will have some water flowing back through here when you have the high rains, but I can tell no standing water. It's just, this is kind of a low spot where the water kind of drains through here 
this little space here on the really high rains and stuff and it just flows away and it's gone. You're not gonna have to worry about flooding issue. But right here you walk out and now you're at the trail. So this road here kind of curves up, goes all the way down where Chalk Road's at and it'll kind of hook to the right and put you out on Curvature Road and from there you kind of make a left and then another left and you're into the Grove section where that's where the fitness center, uh, lap pool, and all that is right there. So if you want to get a little jog in first before you get your workout, this is an ideal spot. And it's a quick and easy in and out of the community because we're kind of right behind the Grove section. So you'd come in through Bordeaux Road and uh, hit on curvature, take Trotter, and then you're on to Chalk Road. So yeah, this is a nice spot, quiet neighborhood, and this could be a neat little space in the backyard. So a lot has changed since I first did the lot tour because there really wasn't much up here in the building site. But there's nothing stopping you from planting a few more trees over here on the side of the house. Don't plant them too super close to the house, but if you wanted to strategically place some trees to give yourself a little more privacy from the neighbors, well, you sure can. All right, before I wrap it up, I do need to let you know that in the acre section what this is at, you do have to have a side mounted driveway. So you can see, this looks like there's gonna be a two and a half, a three car garage right over here on this corner is where you're gonna see your driveway coming in here and then a little curved J driveway getting into that lot there. And if you notice where my shadow's at, we're kind of, sun's going down. So in my opinion, this is the best place to have the sun going down on the front of the house. So during the August time frame, the sun is not melting your face off if you're trying to have happy hour on the back of your deck. All right, that's gonna wrap up the tour of the lot that Perry's building the uh, 3740 plan on off of 520 Chalk Road. If you got any questions, feel free to reach out to me. My contact information will be on the final screen. And if you like these videos of what's going on in Vintage Oaks or anywhere in the greater San Antonio area, to include Bernie, Mulverde, all that stuff, I go everywhere. Feel free to reach out to me and I'll be happy to help or someone on my team will be able to help you out. All right, I'll talk to you soon. And as always, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Keep sharing with your friends. All right, take care now. Bye.